Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, so happy. Amen. Holy Spirit, so happy to be blessed by a beloved child of God to just want him. Amen. To just want his presence above, say it with me, everything. Amen. Everything. Hallelujah. Our God is above everything. Amen. He is first. Hallelujah. We love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Praise God. You know why? Holy Spirit is the only one that can do it. Amen. It's only his holy presence. Amen. Don't you love how the word confirms the word that way? Amen. Don't you love how God is just a God of order and such detail in how, I mean, how magnificent he is. I know that's a no-duh statement, right, beloved church family? Our God is God Almighty. Hallelujah. The creator, the only living and true God. Amen. God, our Father. Abba. Amen. Do it with me. Many of you just felt Holy Spirit just give you the, the, the greatest hug inside. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name. And it's all because of the name above every name. The perfect one. Hallelujah. The perfect Lamb of God. Amen. The great I Am. The Alpha and the Omega. Hallelujah. The Savior. The Redeemer. The Healer. Hallelujah. The Author and Perfecter of our faith. Hallelujah. His name is, say it with me church, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And it's in this focus. Say that word with me. Focus. It's in this focus. Oh, hallelujah. That truly we get a snapshot. Alpha and Omega. Hallelujah. Who was, who is, and who is to come. Amen. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's pray, beloved church family. I'm so excited. Hallelujah. What about you? Amen. Can you get an amen? Praise God. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your holy blood that was spilled on Calvary's cross through Lord Jesus Christ, your perfect Son, our Lord, our Savior. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. And Lord Jesus Christ, as we lift up your holy name, we bless you, Holy Spirit. We say thank you, Father God, for who you are, and we worship you. And Holy Spirit, right now we just ask you and we thank you for teaching us you are our only teacher, Holy Spirit. And as we plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, Father, rebuke me, rebuke my pride, that I only say every moment, Father God, every moment in eternity that you bless us with. Whoever is your mouthpiece, Father God, whether it's Pastor John, myself, I know we're one in you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Whether it's an elder, or deacon, leadership, Father, whoever is speaking your word in your holy church, Father God, open arms, community church, that Heavenly Father, you bind up their mouth, you bind up pride, you bind up the enemy, Father God, and we are only mouthpieces to give you all the glory, Lord Jesus Christ. You have all the glory, Lord Jesus Christ. We don't touch it. And Holy Spirit, have your way. Bless us, Holy Spirit, with a fresh anointing that only comes from your presence. And we thank you, Father God, for blessing us with your wisdom. And it's in Jesus Christ's name and all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. Woo. God bless you guys. Praise God. Give somebody a high five. Hallelujah. Give yourself a high five. Praise God. Don't forget to give the angels a high five. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen, they're fighting for us. Praise God. Don't you want to bless your angels? Amen. I believe with all my heart. Nothing, nothing can, can persuade me. I believe with all my heart that God sees everything. Say it with me. Amen. <laughs> That's all. Praise God. That's our sign. That's our sign to say everything. <laughs> and just like you, I just want to bless God Almighty. Hallelujah. And I believe it with all my heart when we act and speak, not what we see, right? Not what's going on, but in faith in Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ is seated at the throne. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The right hand of God our Father. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ is seated with all authority, with all power, with all might for all of eternity. It's only his name, Lord Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit will live in you, in me, for all of eternity. He'll know our business, amen? I'm so thankful for this, say it with me, focus, hallelujah, focus, amen? 
We're going to get right into it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm so, so thankful. Amen. I pray in Jesus' name. I pray in Jesus' name that you will take this opportunity to just mute. Say that word with me. Mute. M-U-T-E. Mute. That you would mute this world. Can I get an amen? Pastor, how do I do that? Plead the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Right now. I plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Right now, I plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ. Silence everything. Silence this world. Silence the drama. Right? Silence the, the rebellion. Si silence the, the job, the money. Silence everything. Amen? Silence the bills. Silence the sickness, the disease. Mute. Hallelujah. Mute. Amen? Mute that thing. Mute. You want to know what mute looks like? Look, mute looks like... How do we, <laughs> how do we mute? Jesus Christ is Lord. Oh, Father, I thank you. I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you went through that beating. I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you, you took everything on the cross. I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you saved me from the pit of hell. It's in this Thanksgiving that you mute the enemy, amen? Hallelujah. Glory to God. I pray you receive that in Jesus' name. Amen. It's a new day. Hallelujah. Say it with me. New season. Hallelujah. In a new season, if you say new, that means God is doing something new in your life, in my life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I know whenever, wherever God's presence is, it's only gooder and gooder. He's the only one good. Amen. So when you say and declare out of your mouth, in the spirit of faith, believing in your mind and in the holy of holies, in your soul and in your spirit, believing, hallelujah, that Father God, I am in this new season. Say that with me. I am in this new season. Amen. And when you say that unto Lord Jesus Christ in thanksgiving, God has a new blessing in store for you. Hallelujah. A new anointing. Hallelujah. A new season. A new breakthrough. Hallelujah. A new blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you receive that in Jesus' name? Amen. Let's just give God praise. Hallelujah. Woo! Rejoice! Amen. Praise God. Oh my goodness. We need to get into the word. Praise the Lord. And we're just going to move forward from there. Amen. Our scripture for this word focus. Say that again with me. Focus. Amen. Now keep in mind. Keep in mind. Praise God. We have been blessed. Honored. Hallelujah. Just blessed. Anointed. You name it. Gooder and gooder to be here in God's holy church, Open Arms Community Church, for over two years now, amen? And by the grace and mercy and how Holy Spirit is teaching us continuously, many of you know my brothers and sisters that are rooted here, amen? Many of you know this word, focus. Hallelujah, right? Stay focused, right? Focus on Lord Jesus, amen? Now, the, the, the truth behind this word, focus, is that it, 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 there, there's more in-depth, there's more in-depth meaning that manifests behind the word focus. Can I get an amen? And we're going to get into that, and Holy Spirit, I, I'm just trying to catch up like you. I'm just, I'm just trying to be obedient and say what Holy Spirit wants to say. See, see there, there's, this, there's this basic word of focus, right, where you just say, stay focused, right? Stay focused, right? Look, listen, right? Just stay focused. But then there's this other word, focus, where it's now, it's different. Can you get an amen? It's different. The, the, there's magnitude. There, 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 there's a depth in it. Amen? It's rooted. And this focus is what we're going to discuss and expose through worship in agape. Hallelujah. Say that with me. Agape. Amen? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And Father, Son, Holy Spirit is going to expose this word focus. Amen? Now keep in mind, praise God, when we get deeper and deeper into this, Holy Spirit wants to remind us that this focus and the depth of it and how it manifests in a beloved child of God is the same way how Holy Spirit taught us as far as being in view. Amen? Remember in view like a sniper, right? You're just zoomed in. Hallelujah. Right? I'm not just being still. Amen? And it's that same anointing, say that with me, anointing, that Holy Spirit's going to bless us 
But once again, the way he manifests this word, focus, is going to change our life forever, starting now, in Jesus' name. Amen? Are you ready? Praise God. Say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. All right, hallelujah. So let's get into this. We're going to be in Hebrews chapter 12, and we're going to just be in verse 2. Praise God. That's on page 671. Amen. <laughs> Don't go to that page number. Praise God, unless you got a Bible. <laughs> Don't get crunchy. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. Hallelujah. Just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 2, chapter 12 of Hebrews. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I get an amen? Fixing our eyes on Jesus. And I love how it says, let us fix our eyes on Jesus. You see, when you fix your eyes on Jesus through Holy Spirit, the worship in agape, hallelujah, our God, hallelujah, is that the focus is not just a matter of just looking at Lord Jesus. The focus now is the mercy and the cost of even Lord Jesus, his existence here on this earth. The focus is how much God loves us, just the fact that Lord Jesus Christ left heaven. The focus is how much Lord Jesus Christ loves the Father, amen? How much Lord Jesus Christ loves the Father to sacrifice himself to leave heaven to come to this fallen world. The focus of Lord Jesus Christ is that no matter what took place, he divinely executed everything in perfection so that we can be free from sin, free from this world. Can I get an amen? The focus of Lord Jesus Christ is, is that from the moment he came on this earth, his mission was to accomplish everything divinely orchestrated by our Father, hallelujah, led by the anointing of Holy Spirit to do everything in perfection so that he could nail it all to the cross through his perfect body so that you and me can be set free. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? The focus of Lord Jesus Christ is that even through the physical agony excruciating pain, torture, insult, shame, everything that you can possibly imagine, that he did not give one thought towards that because he was thinking of the Father. He was thinking of mercy, of grace. He was thinking of you and of me. The focus on Lord Jesus Christ is is that when he yielded up his spirit for a beloved son for the first time in eternity to be separated, ripped apart from the father because of you and because of me. The focus on Lord Jesus Christ is on that glorious third day. Woo! Hallelujah! On that glorious third day when Holy Spirit resurrected him and now he is seated at the right hand of the heavenly father. The focus on Lord Jesus Christ is that we are children, beloved children of God, and that His Spirit, say His name, Holy Spirit, lives in you and in me. The focus of Lord Jesus Christ is, I am no longer my own. I am a beloved child of God. And he consumes my thoughts, my actions. He's my every breath. 
And this is the focus that God wants to teach on this glorious day. Amen. Let's give God praise. Hallelujah. So you notice the difference that in agape, because remember, agape is light through you, through me. Amen. His presence, Holy Spirit's presence. When he shines, because I pray in Jesus' name that he's continuously shining. Amen. There is no dimmer on this thing. Praise God. Rebuke that. Amen. Say it with me. Holy Spirit, shine. Hallelujah. Say it like you mean it. Come on. Represent. Holy Spirit, shine through me and my family and my church in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. And as Holy Spirit's light shines through you, glory to God, he will, right, agape, amen, say with me, agape. He will, God will expose the enemy. And this is what God is exposing right now. This other word of focus, this basic word of focus, this deception of focus when it isn't focus that is written here. In Hebrews 12, verse 2, fix your eyes. Focus, right? See, the basic word that Holy Spirit is exposing is when someone would say, oh, I am staying focused, but yet their thoughts, come on now, their thoughts are pure evil, darkness, perversion, lust, deceit, Rebellion, right? Haughtiness, prideful, arrogant, conceited, religious, right? We just keep going on and on, right? Anxious. These thoughts are not of God. See, so when, and, and remember, we have to expose this enemy and allow Holy Spirit to cut this head off in Jesus' name, amen? Because when we say that we're focused on agape, hallelujah, his name is, say with me, Lord Jesus Christ. When we're focused on Lord Jesus Christ, the anointing of God, hallelujah, Holy Spirit, will bless us with godly thoughts. Amen? Godly thoughts. And these are the thoughts, praise God, that pushes away distractions of the enemy. That shields us, hallelujah, the shield of faith, amen? That shield of faith is, hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, the blood of God himself shields us, amen? And it's in this shield that God allows us to have godly thoughts. It's in this intimacy, amen? But when we say that we're focused on Lord Jesus Christ, but the, the thoughts are not of him, then that focus is not the focus of agape. Can you get an amen? See, it's only through Lord Jesus Christ that the impartation... Say that with me. Impartation of Holy Spirit can take place. The only way you can have Holy Spirit, <laughs> glory to God, many of you beat me to it, you have to have Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. There is no around that. There's no way. The only way, the only way to God our Father is through Lord Jesus Christ. And even Lord Jesus Christ knows when you sincerely receive him. Hallelujah, he's God. Can I get an amen? He is God Almighty. He knows everything. <laughs> everything, right? And the glory of God is he knows when you said, I'm done. I tapped out. Amen? Amen, tapped out. I'm done. I submit. I surrender. God knows if you really submit or surrender or are you trying to mock him. Right? And it's in this deception of focus, right? This basic word of focus, where we try to mock and deceive God. We're deceiving ourselves because the enemy is the one that lays out the deception, the, dis the distractions. Amen? Because when you're focused on agape, hallelujah, then the thoughts line up to the focus. Right? Whatever you're imparted with, can I get an amen? Whatever you're imparted with, Hallelujah. Whatever you're imparted with is going to be your focus. Hallelujah. And it's in this focus, in this anointing, where all your thoughts will start to consume you. Praise God. 
And listen to the magnitude of the anointing Holy Spirit is teaching in this written word. When you focus your eyes on Lord Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, author and perfecter, hallelujah, he is the author, right? Lord Jesus Christ wrote this, amen? The beauty of our God is it doesn't stop in Revelation. You are his, I am his. And Lord Jesus Christ is writing the story of our lives. Hallelujah. I pray in Jesus' name through obedience, through obedience, say that word with me, obedience, that through obedience we allow Holy Spirit to write what He wants to write. And this is the abundant life, amen? Where you're completely submissive in worship to God that you allow God to live through you. And glory to God, would you not rather have the great I am, the great author, write the story of your life? Oh, hallelujah, glory to God, amen? Hallelujah. The author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. And Holy Spirit wants to close, hallelujah, on this note. That look at how Holy Spirit is teaching us through the anointing of agape, that Lord Jesus Christ, his focus, his focus, hallelujah, being agape himself, his focus was on agape. Father, I have to do this. Father, I am going to be reunited with you. Father, I told them, I told them, tear down this temple and in three days I'll raise it back up. Father, I thank you that even though this is what it looks like, even though I can hear the mess, Even though I could hear the soldiers taking out the whips and the metal to beat me, I, I'm focused because, Father, I got to go through this because, Father, you promised. And in Jesus' name, God is asking us as his children, don't focus on anything of this world. Focus on the truth, the absolute truth that we are going to be reunited. Oh, Father, I'm going to be at home in glory. Amen. Father, I'm going to be with you forever for eternity. I thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Say this word with me. Focus. Amen. And it's in this focus, beloved child of God, that when you keep God first and you love him with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, amen, it's him first. Agape. Hallelujah. Agape. Him first. God will take care of the rest. God will love others through you. Because it's only in his presence where there's anything good, amen? And it's in this focus when you just have God consume every part of your life. And I pray in Jesus' name that you're receptive and open to say, Father, I'm done running. Father, forgive me that I closed off that area of my life. Father, forgive me that I put that above you. Right now is the time, beloved church family. Listen, if you want to experience the gooder and gooder, if you want to experience miracles in your life, if you want to experience his presence that's overflowing, because that's only how miracles come. It's the presence of Holy Spirit. If you want to experience this, the time is now to repent. To repent of the basic focus. To repent of mocking God and saying, oh, I'm focused on Lord Jesus, but then you run towards the world. You run towards every distraction, right? Right? In Jesus' name, say it with me, no more. Hallelujah. No more. Glory to you, Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father God, I just thank you so much for your anointing, Holy Spirit. It only comes through you, Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus Christ, we lift up your name and we thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all of eternity that you taught us how to focus. And Father God, as we plead your holy and precious blood, we bless you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, this is your life. Hallelujah, this is your marriage. Hallelujah, the Karangian house is your house. Open Arms Community Church is your church, Heavenly Father. God's Hand Ministries is your ministry, Father God. I Am Recovered is your book, Father. We thank you so much, Father God, for everything that you're doing through us. For you have all the glory, honor, and praise, Lord Jesus Christ. It's all about you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
It's all your anointing, Holy Spirit. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise, Father. And we thank you so much, Father God, for blessing our eyes, removing the scales off of our eyes, Father God, so that now we may be focused on you, agape. We thank you, Father, and it's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. And all God's beloved said, amen, hallelujah. Woo, God bless you guys, praise God. God is good all the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name, amen. I pray that this word from God blesses you, hallelujah. And that when we say focus, glory to God, Holy Spirit taught us, amen. And in Jesus Christ's mighty name, our lives will never be the same. Because why? Holy Spirit's anointing tore down walls and his presence is flowing. Hallelujah. Like the mighty ocean. Amen. Blessings upon blessings. Amen. And I just thank you, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. I love you guys. God bless you. Pray for you every day. Trisha and I, we love you guys so, so much. Praise God. Thank you so much for being a blessing to Holy Spirit first. Loving God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Hallelujah. And blessing one another. And whoever is blessed to know you. Because I know I am. Amen. Love you so much, church family. God bless you. Mwah.